Hello everyone, welcome back to another CapCut tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to do the black effect or the black video effect that's trending on TikTok. How do I do it? Well, I've just shown you an example here. I've got this lady and I've applied it to her. You guys will note that I have really applied it hard here. And the reason why is I just want to show you the effect. So I've overdone it just to show you how it's done. But normally you do it a little less. Uh, you do it a little more subtle than this. But anyways, let's start from scratch and let me show you how I did it. Okay, good. First step, click on new project. And we're going to select some footage. I'm going to select this lady here. It's about a six second long clip. And if I scroll through it, there she is doing her thing. So let's go to right about here. And now I'm just going to trim the edge because it's a little bit too long. So we want it to be a shorter clip. And I'm also going to go ahead and delete out that watermark at the end because why bother with that? Okay, good. So we've got a nice short clip applied. The next step is we need to apply some effects. So when you go to the bottom here, you're going to see that little magic wand with a star at the end there, it looks like. Click on effects. Click on video effects, and now instead of going to trending, we want to go all the way to the right and find comic. Find the comic, and then go down to the bottom, and you're going to see BNW or black and white sketch. That's the one that we want. Apply it, click the check mark. Now we've got the black and white sketch applied to it, and you can already see that it's been applied. I'm going to increase the length of this effect so that it's the whole duration of the clip, so there's no parts where it doesn't show up. Okay, good. We've got our first effect applied. We need to do some more, though. We're going to go back. We're going to click on effects again. We're going to click on video effects, and now we're going to apply a blur. So instead of going to trending, we're going to go to basic, and under basic, just about halfway down, you'll see blur. You can adjust the strength of this blur, but in the interest of time, I'm just going to do it with the pre-built pre pre defaults. <laughs> but again, you can adjust them if you want to uh, make yours a little different. Okay, click the check mark. And presto, we've applied a blur. So we've got her in black and white, and we've got her blurred. And again, I've increased the length of duration, so they're both the same. Now, the next step is counterintuitive. But the reason why we're doing this is because, you know, CapCut doesn't really work with multiple layers and multiple blending modes like most nonlinear editors on computers, for example. So the next step is we're going to click on this little arrow at the top here, and we're going to click that, and we're going to export it. So we're going to export version one here. So this is the first video we exported. We're going to do another one. Now, once it's done exporting, click on the back arrow. Do not click on done. You don't want to jump ahead that far because that'll make a mess of it. Okay, so we've clicked on the back arrow. Now we're going to replace this first black and white. So um, I'm going to click on black and white like I've done here. And when you do that, at the bottom, you're going to see replace effect. When you do that, I'm going to go back to comic, and it's already pre-built this. So we're replacing the black and white effect now with this neon effect right at the bottom. It's pretty cool. All right, cool. Click the check mark. And the next step is we want to make sure that they're both the length of the duration of the clip. They are good. We're now going to go to the top and we're going to click that arrow or export button. Again, this is the second video now that we've exported. We're going to go ahead and click the back arrow again. And I know it's a little bit tedious, but this is how you got to do things in CapCut. And now, so we've got the two videos and now we're going to get rid of these effects and we're going to start blending the various videos in together. Let me show you how to do it. So the first step, just delete these two uh, effects now. So we're basically going back to a regular version of the clip. So there's now it's just nothing there. Okay, so we've deleted the two. Now we're going to start overlaying and splicing. So step one, we're going to go ahead and click out and we're going to go right to the beginning. And when you do that, at the bottom, it's going to say overlay. Click on overlay, click on add overlay. Step one, we're going to add in this black and white version first. So this is the first one we're making. So add black and white. So we've clicked it, selected it, add it. Now, while you're on this screen, click on the splice option. And we're going to go ahead and, well, no, actually, before I do that, pardon me, I'm going to double click on this video and I'm going to make it the full size of the image. So they got to be the same size. So it actually applied it smaller than the original. So I double clicked on it and I increased the size so they're both the same size. Now, Click on splice <laughs> and we're going to go over to the dodge option. So click on dodge and this is like blending modes if you've used Photoshop or Premiere Pro, but yeah, they call it splice in here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decrease this to, I don't know, in my, let's go to something like, well, let's go with 40 because we want to go a little over the top to show you the effect. So we're going to splice it down to 40. Keep in mind, you can adjust these values later on if you don't get it right the first time. Click on check mark. All right, good. Now we're going to go ahead and add another overlay. So let's just go ahead and click out. I'm just going to go back here. Sorry, one second. Click out here, add a second overlay. 
And this time we're gonna add the neon. I'm gonna add that neon in, click on add. And now the neon, I'm going to splice that, but before I do it, I'm going to make sure that it's the full size, just like the last one. Now we're gonna click splice again. And this time we're gonna not go with dodge. We're gonna go with the hard version. And you can already see where this is going. And again, this is over the top, but I just wanna show you the effect. And now we're gonna dial this down and we'll move forward to right about here. This is kind of like the skin tony area and yeah, it's a bit too much, but maybe something like that, okay? Let's go with that, maybe 40. Click on that, click play. That's the black effect. I'm gonna go ahead and export it. And presto, it's uploadable. And again, guys, keep in mind that if, if it doesn't quite look the way you want it, if you want a darker background or you want darker skin tones, you can go in and make adjustments, but this is the way you do it inside CapCut. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming. Stay tuned.